Hey guys, what's going on? It's Connor here, coming at you with a, another tutorial for Photoshop. Today's tutorial is going to be on a l insanely awesome effect called the distortion effect, uh, which is really simple to do. So this can be done on backgrounds, whatever, but always do it at the end of, uh, after you finish the project. This, this can even be done for photo manipulation, whatever you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to first click on the top layer of the PSD, go down to the bottom one, hit shift and then click the bottom one. This will select all the layers that are available on your PSD. Next we're going to hit right click on any of the layers and duplicate or you can hit control J and just duplicate them. And then once again click on any of the new ones and go merge layers. This will just create a brand new layer as you can see right here. Next what we're going to do is we're going to go back and grab all of these ones and mm, yeah just uh, get a group call it um, main click the top one and hit the bottom one while holding shift and just drag them into the group so you've got a group with the main PSD and you've got the merged duplicated one here next we're just gonna let, uh, not show the main bits and click on the duplicated version grab a rubber make sure it's on 12 pixels on a um, just a, f a one of these brushes here doesn't really matter one of these smooth ones and zoom in a bit what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down shift click at the top and click on the bottom and keep making these horizontal lines all the way across the actual PSD so make sure you get most of the PSD in. This might take a bit longer uh, for photo manipulations. But yeah. Next, just make a couple of horizontal lines, not many. Just do maybe two, like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this main thing here, uh, the main group, and allow them to all be seen. You'll see that there's not much difference if you take it off. There is no difference whatsoever. Now we're about to do the main distortion bit. Uh, making sure you're on um, this tool up here, the move tool, uh, shortcut for that is V, and click on the main top layer, and with the keypad, hit right three times, and down. Okay, now if you look at that all guys, especially this bit here, on the text you can see it's distorted. So the best way for you guys to see that is if I take off that layer, and then add it back on you guys can see the effect right there like so depending on how many lines you use the rubber on depends on how many and how distorted it is so what you can do once that's done just add loads of lines going diagonally like so and you'll see that will make it even more distorted so guys just play around with that a bit but yeah I'm Connor and yeah, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you have liked this tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys would like a tutorial done by me, please just comment down below what tutorial it is. Thanks, guys.